everybody, this is Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. As you'll notice, I'm back in my regular wig closet for filming, and I'm really excited for my first video to be on this beauty right here. This is the new Raquel Welch Editor's Pick Elite, shown in the color Honey Toast, which is RL1216. I did not think I was going to have the opportunity to review this style, but I'm so happy that Hair You Wear has contacted me and sent this wig for review. Be sure to hang in there for the full review. There's a lot of nuggets and tidbits that you won't want to miss, including a full comparison of this Editor's Pick Elite to the regular Editor's Pick and some color comparisons as well. Editor's Pick is a mid-length, quintessential, wavy cut bob. Came out about four years ago and has really set the bar for this kind of style. So it's really no surprise to me that they have upgraded the cap design on this style with the Elite option. Editor's Pick has been one of my favorite wavy bob cuts since it came out. And I think that it's really easy to wear. So we've got a four and a half inch bang area that comes right off of that lace front. It kind of gives a bit of a contour there. Now in the back, you'll find a 10 inch crown, a six inch nape. I did measure from the crown to the tip of the hair. It's about 13 inches all the way around. There's an eight inch layer here on the sides. It weighs about 3.75 ounces. This Editor's Pick Elite features a temple to temple lace front a full single monofilament top, and a completely hand-tied base. Let's take a look at that lace front. It's absolutely gorgeous, impeccable, invisible hairline there. There's plenty of fiber spliced in down through the ear tab to give you a beautiful, beautiful hairline and a natural look. There's a single monofilament top, a nice generous monofilament top there. So wherever you part it, you should be able to see through to the illusion of scalp. Just like the Legacy Editor's Pick design, this is made from the Raquel Welch True to Life fibers that are heat friendly up to 350 degrees. We fell in love with this beautiful tousled curly waviness of the Editor's Pick and it is the same on the Elite. I did notice that the curls are held together a little bit more, a little more defined, especially around the face on the Editor's Pick Elite versus the regular Editor's Pick. But for the most part, it's just a softly tousled, deconstructed curl. I'm going to give you a full look at this cap with all of the detail, but I do want to state that there is no what we consider traditional permatease on this cap. But what you will find is um, some scalloping at the very root of certain fibers in the back and on the sides where they've integrated some wefts into this hand-tied base. So that gives it some strength in the, in the base and it also gives you some nice volume, especially at the bottom. Now there's enough density here, just an average density. This feels very much like the density of the traditional editor's pick. And so I feel like you could probably still get quite a bit of volume. So what this hand tied cap is really doing for you is it's probably going to allow for a little more natural movement to these fibers. A lot of you enjoy the hand tied cap. They're some of the most comfortable caps that you can wear. Um, this one fits me like a glove. The Legacy Editor's Pick has a lot of permatease around that monofilament part in the back and the sides. So you can really pump up the volume on that style. And I feel like you can get that same kind of volume on this style as well. However, if you wanted a more subdued look, it might be a little easier to tame the volume on this Elite Cap. So this would be a great time to bring out my traditional editor's pick in the color shaded cappuccino so that we can compare colors and specs. So here is the editor's pick in the color shaded cappuccino which is RL1222 SS. Let's break down and compare these colors. So on this RL1216 Honey Toast, you're going to find a light 
a golden brown base color and then within that then you're going to see some uh, light gold blonde and light caramel brown highlighting and overall I think this honey toast is a neutral to warm shade now let's compare that to the shaded cappuccino so the shaded cappuccino starts with that light brown shade and then it also has in there a light ash blonde as opposed to the light gold blonde of the honey toast there's also some light caramel brown in this 1222 it's everything is on a medium brown root as well so the shaded cappuccino is um, a rooted color the honey toast is not I look at the shaded cappuccino as being more neutral to cool and the honey toast being more neutral to warm your shaded cappuccino is going to be lighter and brighter than the honey toast so let's examine the similarities and differences you'll find the four and a half inch bang exactly the same um, on both the Editor's Pick and the Editor's Pick Elite. They both have the same contour and they lay exactly the same on both styles. Some of this layering is a bit shorter on the original Editor's Pick and that kind of contributes to some of the volume you can get as well. I don't feel like the curl is as defined as it is here on the Editor's Pick Elite, but both of them are have that beautiful tousled wave that's uh, almost indistinguishable. You may see some differences from style to style. In terms of weight, the original Editor's Pick is three and a quarter, and the Editor's Pick Elite is 3.75. The Editor's Pick has a temple to temple lace front and full single monofilament top, and then open wefted sides and back. Whereas the Elite version has the lace front, single monofilament top, and then a hand-tied base. Examining permatease, the original uh, editor's pick has a lot of permatease all the way around that monofilament, and then you'll find it at the temple, the back, and very, very heavy at the nape. Now, on the Elite, um, I don't want to say there's no permatease, but there's no uh, permatease in the traditional sense. And when I show you an inside look at the cap, you'll see some integrated wefting at the bottom sides and back. And there's a bit of a scalloped fiber at the very root of those uh, wefts that give it a little bit of volume and support at the bottom. So I think that the volume that you're getting is the same on both styles. Sometimes on hand, uh, completely hand-tied caps, um, without any integrated wefting or anything, you can really lose a lot of the volume because you don't have the permatease to kind of prop it up. But this was done extremely, this, this cap was done extremely well, it was very well thought out, and can certainly get a lot of volume on either style. One other difference that I am noticing is that the Elite cap seems to be more comfortable than that of the original. And I feel like they're both very well made and very comfortable, but you would expect a little bit more from an, a hand-tied design. The other uh, factor would be that on a hand-tied design, those fibers can move and pivot a little more on their own, an individual from one another, giving it a more natural feel and movement. In terms of pricing, the Editor's Pick Elite is a bit pricier than the regular Editor's Pick just because it is a hand-tied base and you get some of those additional features. So just in summary, the one thing I was really surprised about was I really expected the Editor's Pick Elite to lay differently on my head than that of the original Editor's Pick just because of the hand-tied features. But they've constructed it in a way that gives me superior comfort and design while still maintaining a lot of volume and movement. Here's an inside look at the cap for the Editor's Pick Elite. The first thing you'll notice is that beautifully contoured lace front. It does extend back into the ear tab and gives some really nice coverage there. A lot of fiber spliced in there. The ear tab is closed and felted and features a long sturdy stays. There's a seam connecting the lace front with the single monofilament top. A nice realistic touch. There's an extended felted nape with Velcro adjusters, and everything is encased in a hand-tied base material. It's kind of a breathable mesh material. You'll see a combination of cluster knots, 
and wefting at the bottom sides and back. Now that wefting is integrated right into that hand tie cap and gives it some sturdiness and it also contributes to some additional volume there at the bottom without using permatease. This cap is average right out of the box. I did cinch it in to adjust for my petite average circumference. So because indoor lighting can be tricky, I'm gonna take you outside for a side-by-side -side comparison on these styles and colors. I hope you enjoyed the review. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.